Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Matt and I wanted to show you how you can easily create your legal pages in Shopify. So this is like your terms and condition page, your privacy policy, return policy, shipping policy. All those pages can be easily created in Shopify. So let me go ahead and jump into my computer and I'll show you exactly how to create them really quick and easy. All right guys, so I just created a quick test store to show you guys exactly how to do this really quick and easy. Uh, so if you're in your Shopify dashboard, you're just going to go right down here, bottom left corner, and click on settings. Then when you're in settings, you're going to go to this legal tab. And once you're there, this is where you fill out your refund policy, privacy policy, terms and conditions, or terms of service, and shipping policy. So the easy way to do this, and this is what I'd recommend doing, is just hit create template. So this is going to auto fill just some generic uh, return policy that you can use in your store and it'll show up uh, and it'll autofill your uh, store's website and your contact information what I'd recommend if you're using your home address and don't have like a business address I'd go in here and actually delete um, any place that has your address and just leave your email instead so like right here I would delete that because that is your personal home address and right here is also the home address so that's what I'd recommend doing just going through and kind of cleaning these up making sure it looks good uh, how you want it for your store um, so we'll do the same thing for privacy policy uh, and again you'll just go through and privacy policy actually has these places for you to insert information. Uh, I usually don't insert anything, I just like delete the sections. So you can see they're in bold here. Uh, you can just delete all those. So all of this you don't need. And just kind of go through and clean it up. Uh, make sure there's nothing out of the ordinary. Let's see. None of that. I'm not going to worry about that because I sell anything. And again, here's your home address. Get rid of that. Terms of service, once again. And go through. Make sure everything looks good. It's very easy, guys. Very simple. So just do this pretty quick. Make sure your home address or anything isn't in here okay and then shipping policy you're gonna go ahead and just fill this out yourself uh, I would put um, here you'd put your processing time for how long it takes for you or your manufacturer to send out your product as well as the shipping time so 10 to 20 day shipping 5 to 7 day shipping whatever you have just go ahead and make you know write a lot, nice little paragraph in here and uh, so people can know your shipping times. Now this isn't everything you need to do though. So this, all this template does is allow people to click on it during your checkout. What you need to do once you save this, so hit save, you need to actually create pages for each one of these things and make them easily found in your site. So I'll show you how to do that. If you go, in fact, let's open a new tab here. What you're gonna do is go into pages underneath sales channel online store pages and you're gonna hit add page and this is where I just copy and paste in this stuff so you have a refund policy I'd copy that let's see command a and command C to select it all if you're on a Windows it's control um, so you just go ahead and do that now you have a refund policy page. Next, you're gonna add another page. Do the same thing for all of these. So we'll just go through and do this real quick. Terms of 
service. And you'll want to do fun for your shipping policy too. Uh, I didn't write anything, but when you write something, just go ahead and put it in here too. So now we have different pages for each one of these things, and you're going to want to put these in your menu. So if you go to navigation, there's a footer menu and a main menu. Uh, you could put it in either. I'd probably put it in both. These are kind of important pages. But let's go ahead and I'll show you how to add it to your footer menu. So all you're going to do is hit add menu item, search links, go to pages, and just click on each one of those. So add pages, refund policy, add pages, shipping policy, add, and pages, terms and conditions, add. So, and I'll get rid of this search actually. So now these are just going to show up in your footer. So if we hit save menu, show you what this looks like. If you go ahead here and open your store, you'll see now that each one of these have a page. You have a page for your privacy policy, your refund policy. You click on them and it'll just take them right to the information. That's it guys, super simple, super easy. You just go into Shopify and you can just use the pre-made ones and just clean them up yourself. Very easy to do, but very essential for your store. If you liked that, go ahead and like the video. And if you wanna hear more from me, subscribe and I'm constantly releasing stuff on business and Shopify. If you have any questions or if I missed anything, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.